is Elliot from Little Pony People, and right now I'm interviewing Naomi Grossman, best known for American Horror Story. Let's do this. Woohoo! Okay. How how old were you when you first started acting? Hmm. Probably right out of the womb. Like I'm serious. <laughs> really, really, really young. Like I was doing children's theater. I mean, nothing big, but you know, I did, uh, you know, singing and dancing at the local library, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even funny, you're an easy audience. What are your best memories from when you were a kid? Mm. I grew up in Denver, Colorado. Have you ever been? No. What's the next question? What, what memories? See, I have no memory, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> no, I blocked it out. Uh, no, I, it's um, my memories. Um, I had a really fantastic mom and dad, and I know you do too, so you can relate to that. Yeah, my parents were always like really cultured, and they exposed me to music and art and theater and, and film and TV and everything from a really young age. It was really awesome. Um, and I think that's really who, what kind of influenced who I am today. What? Why are you so pretty? Oh, why are you so amazing? Why, <laughs> what you doing later? Um, <laughs> um, thank you. I, I think maybe. Do you have a girlfriend? If Pepper was real, do you think she wants to be my friend? Oh, who wouldn't want to be your friend? <laughs> That's a silly question. I mean, seriously, Ellie, are you just like the most popular boy in school? No. Come on. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> well, just you wait. Wait for your, like, 20th high school reunion. You will be. Do you want to know my high school reunion? What? A guy, I never even went to, I just, this guy just happened to be there. He didn't even go to high school with us. And he walked up and he asked if he could take a photo with me. Do you know how awesome that was? Like, right in front of the popular girls? I was like, yes. <laughs> you know, my, my, my childhood dog was named Elliot. Did you know that? No. That's one of my best memories ever. Yup. <laughs> Who's your favorite comedian? <sighs> Lily. Lily Tomlin. Which I'm, I know you don't know who that is because no one under like 40 does and it's really upsetting to me. But she's, um, she's, uh, will you look her up for me please? She's hilarious. Um, comedic actress, does all these characters, totally transforms herself. Like me. <laughs> Only, I don't, again, I'm not worthy. <laughs> What's your favorite place that you've traveled to? Ooh, wow. These are good questions. You've done this before. When I was in high school, I lived in Argentina, and that's probably my favorite place, Buenos Aires. If you were given $10 million to make your own movie, oh, what kind of movie would it be, and who would be in it? Mm. Well, I'd pro probably, I don't know if 10 million would cover it, but I'd like to resurrect Gilda Radner, and um, they're still with us, but Lily Tomlin, and Carol Burnett, and Tracy Ullman, and all my favorite like comedians, like all the sort of comic actresses that sort of influence me. Again, I don't know, 10 million might be hard to spread around all those divas, but because um, I'd like a little cut myself. But uh, yeah, it probably it would be a comedy. But of course, I'd have to have a little horror to, you know. True or false? I am cool. True. True. <laughs> There's nothing to say. <laughs> what do you you want a paragraph about how cool you are? You're really cool, Elliot. <laughs> True or false? Robots are cool. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I think in theory, true. I had one of those, one of those little robots that would like scurry around and clean your house. Those are cool. Yeah. I don't think it actually cleaned anything, but I think it made me feel really good. <laughs> like I was cleaning. Like, and all I did was just push a button and watch this little thing zip around. <laughs> what would you do if you woke up in real in a real asylum? like an American Horror Story, and you didn't know it, how you got there. Oh my god, you've been, you've been doing this horror thing too long. I mean, it's my worst nightmare, but it could totally happen. I mean, look at me, I'm <laughs> out of my mind. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's scary. <laughs> and you know, 
American Horror Story is especially scary because it's all based on like real stories. Not really? Yeah. I'm sorry, I just realized how young you are. I shouldn't say those things. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> How do you like these horror conventions that you've been doing? Oh, they're to? fun. I mean, we have a good time, right? You've been to a bunch. How many have you been to? I don't know. No? I've seen you at, at least three. I saw you in at Chiller in New Jersey, and then at Kamikaze in Los Angeles, and now Terracon in Rhode Island. Fun. I love them. It's, you know, it's a good time. What would I be doing at home right now? Yoga. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been doing yoga for? Oh. <laughs> um, again, how old are you? Nine. About twice that. Um, yeah, maybe five, 15 years or so. I try not to be one of those crazy people who's just like constantly talking about it, but I always am. Like it always comes back to that. <laughs> Do you want to talk about yoga? What's your favorite pose? Mm. Um, I know this is so unyogic, but whatever like looks hardest, right? You know how it's like supposed to be non-competitive. Like whatever's gonna make people go wow. Do you have anything new coming out from from Red Meat Entertainment? No, you know. Red Meat is my own little baby. Red Meat was really kind of my way to get my name and, and, and what I do out there. I really found like when I moved to LA, I wasn't, I wasn't getting cast. And so I thought instead of just, you know, sitting around waiting for, you know, Ryan Murphy to call me, I thought maybe I'll do something to make him call me. And, and that's what Red Meat was. It was my attempt at sort of being proactive about my career and, and, and writing and producing and, and just being create, staying creative. Jelly beans or hot dogs? Jelly beans. <laughs> I got a huge sweet tooth. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman or Freddy Cougar? Pee Wee. I mean, Pee Wee Herman came from the theater that I came out of. The Groundlings, it's a, it's a comedy theater in Los Angeles where Will Ferrell and Lisa Kudrow and Phil Hartman and like every comedian in the book has come from. And Pee Wee Herman actually started as a character that he would do on stage there and then it, boom, it turned into a TV show and now it's like a Broadway show with a bunch of my friends in it. So yeah, Pee Wee. Next. You know, we have a lot in common. We've already established I'm also an only child. I also have an awesome mom and dad. My hair looked just like yours only a few months ago. You know that? <laughs> yeah, it's a good look. It's easy too, huh? The nice feel too. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Also the warm weather. The ladies love it, I bet. The guys didn't mind it. <laughs> Godzilla or pancakes? Uh, you mean the movie versus my favorite breakfast food? Yeah. Breakfast food. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Dogs or cat crazy werewolves? Oh. I mean, uh, <laughs> I have a real place in my heart for both. Um, you know, there's a legend in, in Argentina that the seventh son of any family if you have if you if you're the, if you have six brothers and you're the seventh son it means you're a werewolf yeah and this is taken very seriously in fact the seventh son is baptized by the president of the Argentine Republic they come to your home in your province and you you receive their name now that they have a female president i don't know what they do but anyway <laughs> now you know Okay, now I'm definitely not having seven kids. <laughs> okay, pretty rainbows or sharknados? Pretty rainbows, rainbows versus tornadoes with sharks in it? <laughs> I mean, how do you even compare the two? I don't know. That's so why I'm asking you. Hmm. What is next for you? Hmm. Well, I'm going to be working on a movie in the fall. Uh, which uh, I actually play the mother, which I don't even believe that I'm old enough to do that, except for that it is a, uh, I come back in fl a flashback. 
Uh, it's called The Chair, and it's about a guy on death row who's going to be going to the electric chair. Um, not for kids. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I, like I said, I come back in flashbacks because it's not like they send, like, small children to the electric chair. And although, I should mention, I know that the uh, producers, uh, they have a Kickstarter right now, and so they could use the support. Where can we find you on the web? Oh, okay, well, um, in addition to Kickstarter, of course, uh, I have my website, which is naomigrossman.net. I've got, of course, a Facebook page. Um, you can like me. Um, and I've got a Twitter, of course, Naomi W. Grossman is my handle. You'll know it's me because we got a little blue check mark. Real deal. Uh, true or false? You had fun doing this interview. True. Yeah, this has been a blast, haven't you? Wasn't this fun? Uh, obviously yes. Oh, good. Well, also, thank you for this interview and and for being so nice, awesome, and fun. Thank you for being so nice, awesome, and fun. This has been super fun. Appreciate it.